We've all had the claims aluminum foil causes Alzheimer's, it leaches into your food and it slowly poisons you. But how much of this is actually true? I'm Dale the Food Safety Dad and today we're diving into the science of aluminum foil to separate fact from fiction. Let's start with what aluminum foil actually is. It's made from super thin sheets of aluminum metal thinner than a human hair. These are rolled out flat under massive pressure. Aluminum is one of the most abundant metals on Earth, and it's used in everything from soda cans to spacecrafts. And here's something most people don't know. When aluminum foil is exposed to air, it instantly forms a thin layer of aluminum oxide on its surface. This layer is inert, and it acts as a protective barrier preventing the aluminum underneath from reacting with your food. So, can aluminum from the foil transfer into your food? In short, yes, some aluminum can transfer into your food. The amount depends on three main factors. Temperature. The hotter it gets, the more aluminum can leach into your food. For example, cooking at high temperatures or grilling with aluminum foil can increase transfer. Acidity. Acidic food like tomato, citrus, or vinegar can break down the oxide layer, allowing more aluminum to migrate into your food. And duration. The longer food is in contact with aluminum foil, the more aluminum can transfer. So what happens when aluminum gets into our food? Well, our bodies are actually pretty good at handling small amounts of aluminum. We naturally consume it in many foods. It's found in tea, herbs, spices, and even vegetables. The average person consumes about 5 to 9 milligrams of aluminum per day from food. For comparison, a single antacid tablet can contain 100 to 200 milligrams of aluminum, and some medications, like certain antacids, contain even more. Now, let's address the big question, does aluminum cause Alzheimer's? This is a persistent myth, but the scientific consensus says otherwise. Despite decades of research, the scientific community says there's no conclusive evidence linking aluminum exposure from cookware, foil, or food to Alzheimer's. Studies have found that the aluminum level in the brains of Alzheimer's patients are not consistently higher than in people without the disease. The Alzheimer's Association and other health organizations have stated that aluminum is not a significant risk factor for the disease. That said, there are some situations where you should be cautious with aluminum foil. Avoid using it with highly acidic foods at high temperatures. This combination causes the most aluminum transfer. Don't reuse foil that's been in contact with fatty or salty foods, as these can break down the protective oxide layer. And avoid scrubbing the shiny side with abrasive materials. This can damage the oxide layer and increase the risk of aluminum leaching. The FDA has studied aluminum extensively and considers it safe for food contact. So should you throw out your aluminum foil? Nah. Should you wrap every single thing in it? Also no. There are some practical tips for using aluminum foil safely. You can store cold foods in containers instead of wrapping them in foil. Use parchment paper as a barrier for acidic foods and avoid cooking with foil at extremely high temperatures, like in a broiler or on a grill. Don't overdo it. There's no need to wrap your leftovers in seven layers of foil. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, consider a subscribe. I'm Dale, the Food Safety Dad, and until next time, go and wash your hands.